Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and a brand new product, and in an, a brand new fabrication. This is my first impression video of the Blitz Matte uh, Blitz Matte Lux Vegan Leather RFID Wristlet Wallet. So this is the first vegan leather in the Matte Lux wallet that has only been a wallet and hasn't been re been released in the regular fabrication it's not a purse it's not a big bag so this is kind of exciting and i if, if you know me at all i'm a wallet freak um i'm a lug wallet freak i have almost every single wallet lug has come out with in the past like four years maybe five um and um i love i love my lug wallets i think lug wallets are probably the best wallets out there um I will never go back to using any other kind of wallet. Um, I've been looking my entire life for wallets. I lived my entire life with crappy wallets and made do with like mediocre wallets. And I've used like really expensive ones and really crappy ones and super, super cheap ones. Um, I have never ever been super happy with all my wallets until I discovered Lug. So I tend to hoard wallets a little bit. So any new wallet, I'm like, I must have it. So. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this one because it's $75 um, and I'm not gonna lie right off the bat I didn't like the look of it because it reminded me of something and if you don't want to know what my stupid brain immediately sees then turn this video off and go do something else right now because it's possible I'm gonna say something I'm gonna show you something and you're not gonna be able to unsee it <laughs> so um, if you have watched any of my previous videos before you know I see weird stuff in all sorts of lug things um, so I have definitely seen band-aids in lug stuff I have seen some bags look like maxi pads I've seen some bags look like they've got breasts um, so anyway so if you don't want to hear any of that tune out I'll see you in the next video <laughs> if you want to hear how crazy I am stay tuned because we're about to I'm about to say some weird stuff here so um, so you're still with me. I see two things right off the bat. I see either two breasts or two butt cheeks, neither of which are really what you want in a wallet, especially when you're paying $75, unless you're into that thing. And if that's the case, more power to you. Um, and, uh, Hey, you know, I don't pass judgment. If you're really into that and you think that's really cool and you want to carry that around, I love it. However, me personally, I can't unsee it. I'm looking at that right now and I definitely see like a bra with underwire. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. It just looks like someone's got a bra with underwire with a little flap over top. Or it looks like two little butt cheeks poking out from underneath the flap. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is when I first saw that immediately I went, what? <laughs> like, what is that? I couldn't even figure out what it was and I didn't even bother reading whether it was a wallet or a bag or a purse or whatever because I couldn't unsee the bra and then after I looked at it a little bit longer I saw butt cheeks okay here we go so let's look at this bag um so <laughs> my goodness I'm so sorry um all right uh where are we so this is the copper brown I'm assuming yep there's the black yeah I still see it I still see bra I thought maybe, you know, the colors I would, you know, see less of it, but no, still the same. Oh, I'm really going to see it in the blush pink. <laughs> it's really going to be something else now. Um, that looks like, you know, those little, those little, little things you put inside your bra, those little, like, little, like chicken cutlets, you know, that, that you put on so that you don't, uh, so that your bra line is smooth, <laughs> if you will. That's what that looks like to me. Just saying. Okay. Um, olive green. Oh, actually, what was the interior? I'm assuming it's the same. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Uh, the wallet is itself, I'm sure, is fine. <laughs> okay, olive green definitely, definitely looks like, like, jeans. You know, like, those are, like, two butt cheeks and a pair of jeans and a pair of, you know, olive green jeans. Um, okay, that's the, where are we here? Yeah, so that's the pearl. Sand taupe. Whoops. Okay, and then the slate blue, yep, blue jeans, that's what I see. And then the white. Okay, you can't see it as much here. Okay, so far the white, it's the only one that doesn't scream body parts to me. 
So I guess I have to get the white if I'm going to get this wallet. All right, please, please let there be a video. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so let's read quickly. Um, we took our classic wristlet with an impossible amount of organization for its size, then gave it the matte luxe material treatment. Design... My cat is meowing. I got to go soon. Okay, design with a front envelope pocket. Oh my god, my poor cat. He really wants to cuddle. Um, so um, so if you hear the meowing, it's just my cat who wants he just wants to hug. He just wants to hang out. Um, and he's calling me in the bedroom. So uh, where am I? A design with the front envelope pocket with clasp enclosure. Um, one rear po rear zipper pocket with accordion fold out, detachable wristlet strap, ID holder, four card slots, and more. Why I'm more? Just tell me the more. Um, the Matt Lux Blitz perfectly fits in your bag uh, or right on your wrist, wherever life takes you. Measurements. Um, okay, eight and a half inches wide. So it's not a huge wallet. I'm just going to pull out my, my ruler here. Oh, actually, no, it's huge. No, I lied. It's big. It's it's so it's, it's one of their larger wallets. So it's a longer wallet. It's not, a, it's not like a medium size wallet. It's, it's, I'm assuming maybe the same size as a Splits XL. Um, okay. And then four and a half inches high, sorry, four and a quarter inches high and then two inches deep. That's a, that's not a small wallet. It looks a lot smaller than I thought it was. It looks a lot thinner. Okay. And then the features. All right. So the exterior, so front envelope pocket, which is a little flap at the front with a clasp closure. And I don't know what that means. I'll take a look at that in the video. Um, one rear zipper pocket with accordion fold out. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Detachable wristlet, wristlet strap, which I love. Um, and then one main zipper compartment. Uh, and then the inside is one main compartment, one clear view ID holder, uh, four card slots, which is not very many, by the way. Um, one soft line cell phone slip pocket. Oh, so this is, so there's, so it's a minimalist wallet if you're holding your phone. And then the whole thing is RFID protected. Let's look at this video. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see this video. It's cute, actually. If you, if you ignore the fact that it looks like a butt or a bra, it's, it's a cute wallet. If it didn't have that quilting, I would be so thrilled. <laughs> oh, so, okay, got it. It's, it's a little snap closure. Okay. Huh. So that's the soft lined four card slots. I'm assuming there's a clear view. Oh, that's the clear view. Okay. Oh, see, so there's two on one side, two on the other, and one of them has the clear view, which is that side there. Okay. And so that little pocket there is a little annoying. That's the one peeve I have about lug wallets is that back zipper. I know that they gave it that extra gusset so you can hold more coins or hold more stuff. So it would give you a little bit more extra space more extra, more space, extra space, whatever. Um, pick, pick one. Um, and, but the problem is when it has that little gusset, there's a little flap at the, at the zipper. And if you pull on that a little bit, it opens. And sometimes it pulls the zipper pull back and then stuff pours out. So it's the one design peeve that I have with lug wallets, but it does allow you to hold a lot of change in there. It's just, you have to make sure that you're that you don't get anything caught on that, on this little flap right here. Cause once you do, it can pull the zipper back and all of your stuff is everywhere. So do keep that in mind if you're, if you're getting these and you're new to these wallets. Um, okay. It's a good medium to large, thin minimalist wallet. Um, it is one of those wallets where if you just want to carry the essentials, it's perfect. It's got lots of organization. You can definitely stay organized. You can keep your, phone in there uh, and it's in a good it's, it's in a good safe place because sometimes you don't want your phone like just in a slip pocket especially when you're hanging it off your wrist uh, when it's in a when, it, when it's a wristlet if it's just in a in a in a pocket where things could slide out because there's no zipper um, that's dangerous so I love that they put the phone inside the wallet with this with a with a good zipper over top of it so that you're not gonna lose it um, and I also love that I'm just going to open that up a little bit so we can really look at it. Um, that there's a, a adjustable wristlet strap, sorry, adjustable, removable wristlet strap. So you can just carry this as a wallet inside your, inside your bag. If you don't like the wristlet. Now it looks to me like they've got D rings on both sides and they didn't mention that. And that would have been a really important thing to mention because 
if there's a D-ring on either side, that means you can change the wristlet to whatever side you want. So depending on how you like the orientation of the, of the zipper, um, you can change the wristlet strap from one side to the other. The other thing it allows you to do, if there's D-rings on both sides, you could put a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap uh, and attach it to both sides. And you could carry this as your purse. You could actually wear this as a crossbody. Um, so this is an amazing addition. If, if, if they're ever gonna do something cross, sorry, crossbody, with a wristlet strap, they should put the D-rings on either side, so or on both sides rather, so that depending on how you like to carry it, you could move the wristlet strap from one side to the other. Or like I said, you can then put shoulder straps on there or adjustable crossbody strap on there so then you can carry it any way you want um and then they wouldn't have to charge you extra because most of us do have straps that we can use and if you don't already you can get them off amazon they're not very expensive i think this bag would look so cute with like a good gunmetal chain uh strap so i actually like this way more than i did when i first saw the bra um, I think I'm like, I'm now starting to look at it and not see it. It could just be because I'm not thinking about it anymore, but, um, I actually might get this cause it's a, it's a, it's one of those wallets where like, it's, how do I put this? It's, it's minimal, but it's, there's a lot of space. You can still put a lot of stuff in there. Um, like if I really wanted to, I feel like I could put up like a little Metro, like a small Metro in there to give myself even more organization. Like if I wanted to put more cards in there. Um, or carry my change differently if I want to carry my change inside the bag instead of putting it on the outside. And I would put like my tickets or something like that on the outside that if it falls out, I'm not going to, you know, have to like run around chasing change everywhere. Um, so I think I like the design. I like the, the size. I like the um, organization. I like where the, like where the pockets are, where the zippers are. I just don't know if it's enough for me. Um, I think it might be, but I can't, I tend to carry a lot of stuff. Um, but I do have a rodeo too, that, and that seems to be enough for like all my essentials, but I like the rodeo too, cause it's small, it, like it fits in the palm of my hand, but sometimes maybe I want something I carry, um, yeah, like inside my coat and I want something a little bit longer. Maybe I do want to carry my phone. Um, I think like, you know, if you're, if you have like a checkbook still, you could probably fit your checkbook in there very, very easily. So I think this is a really good wallet. So once again, Lug has designed an excellent, excellent, excellent wallet. Um, I think Lug really is the absolute best at making wallets. I've seen so many wallets in my day. I continue to look at wallets these days, every once in a while, just because I just want to see, like, has anyone else come up with a better mousetrap than Lug? Um, and I still have not ever seen a better wallet than Lug. Um, Lug has, they really, really figure out you know, where things are going to be, where you're going to be able to use them uh, well. Um, I think everything is, is well appointed. I think everything is well thought through, the size of everything. It's just, you know, and there's so many features like card slots and zippers and, you know, there's just so many awesome things about it. Um, and I, sometimes I will find wallets that seem to have a lot of pockets, but when you actually start using them, it doesn't work. Like it just, it's not intuitive. Like you're like, well, okay, this is, this is great that this feature is here, but I don't like where it is, or it's too big, or it's too small, or it's awkward. Um, and I don't ever find that with lug wallets. They're always really easy to use. They're, you know, really functional. So I think this is a win. I really like this wallet, even though I still see butt cheeks. Sorry. <laughs> So, um, the Blitz is a funny name. I'm not sure why it's called the Blitz. <laughs> um, to me, when I think Blitz, I think wartime. So I don't, I don't know, but, um, and does it not bother anybody else that they always put their stuff in upside down? Like the money is always upside down. It drives me nuts when, when they make these videos and the money's and like the cash is upside down. Um, I don't know why they do that. <laughs> Whoever fills these things up obviously carries all of their cash upside down. Um, anyway, that's just me, and that it, it brought, I, I've seen a few of these videos, and I keep thinking, why are the why is everyone upside down? Like the you know the guys and the money are they're all standing on their heads inside the wallet. Um, I think it's a win. I would get one. Actually, how much is this thing? Let me see. How do I get out of here? <coughs> Excuse me. Seventy-five dollars. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
very expensive wallet. $75. Now it is, a, okay, is this still going? Yeah, it is. It's a VL, so I know it's going to be more expensive. Um, it's a brand new design, so um, all the new things, they've really gone up in price. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, cheaper? I would consider it. I think I would maybe pay, hmm, 50? That's probably as high as I would go for this. So if it ever comes down to 50, I might get this. Um, I don't exactly know when I would use it. It might be one of those times where I just want to carry a wallet, but I'm walking around a place where I don't want like a, a lug fabrication wallet because I'm, I don't know, like I'm at a funeral or something and I don't want dragonfly multi because <laughs> it's just a little too happy. Um, you know, I might do that. And you know, if I just want to carry like a few business cards, my phone, um, you know, a little bit of hand lotion, a little sanitizer, um, you know, my lipstick and cash, uh, and my credit card so that if I need to make a purchase or make a donation or whatever it is and a small pack of tissues, that would be great because it's small, it's thin, it's elegant. I could wristlet it, but I would definitely wear that with a shoulder strap if I were doing that. Um, I don't think I would just wristlet all day because if, you know, in, th in situations like that, you kind of like, you're probably going to hug someone, you're going to shake someone's hand, and you got this thing on your wrist. So I would probably have to wear that as a crossbody, but, or as a shoulder bag, but because it's got the two D-rings, that just made this that much more valuable. So I'll be honest with you, if it didn't have the two D-rings, I probably wouldn't necessarily get it, because a wallet that nice, if it only had a wristlet strap, meaning, you know, like you only can wear it on your wrist, which I tend not to like to wear generally, um... It would just live inside my bag and so if no one ever sees a beautiful wallet and you spend that much money on it eh, it's a bit of a waste of money but um if i might have a chance of wearing that as a crossbody um and it might be the bag that i wear that just totally changed the value of this product um i could now so now i have more flexibility i can use it in many many different ways as opposed to the one way um so just having those two d-rings man that changed it for me um, and I feel like they should do that for everything because if my rodeo two had two D rings, I might actually carry that thing as a crossbody. Like if I had a, a really nice, cute little strap, um, and I could just throw that over my shoulder, I would just take that clasp a couple of little, little lobster claws onto them, throw it over my shoulder and off I go. And that's my wallet. And it would be a cute little, little bag to have. Um, I probably wouldn't do that, but you know what? I might like, at least I have the option and it gives me the chance to be able to do that. Maybe. Um, but yeah, having the D ring to me change it totally. So there we go. That's it. That is my first impression of the blitz Matt Lux VL RFID wristlet wallet. These names, they just go on and on and on. Um, they just are such a mouthful. Um, I don't understand why they keep putting RFID wristlet wallet. Like why RFID is in the name. I guess it, it makes it better because then everybody knows what it is, but it just adds so much to say when you're trying to say the name of these things. So anyways, it's the Blitz. So the Blitz, definitely a winner. Tell me what you think. Did you get any? Have you bought them yet? Because I know these have been out for a little while. So let me know if you've got one. And if you have, tell me what you think. Have you put it to the test yet? How do you, how do you like it? How does it feel? How does it work for you? I'm very, very curious. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.